Tom Feldman, and this is Play Country Blues. that was keep your lamp trimmed and burning we are in standard tuning here is my low e all right tune the rest of the way and you'll be in tune with me to work through the song now we are in an e minor song here this is very similar to death don't have no mercy and we're really going to be using the cage system throughout this piece which is what Reverend Gary Davis did so often. So we've got our first position E minor here. Our next E minor is here out of the D minor chord shape. So if you know a D minor, just slide it up. We've got to compensate for an open string here. So that's our E minor and D minor position. And then we've got our A minor position up here at the ninth fret for our next E minor. Those are the three E minors that we need. E minor, E minor, E minor. The next chord that we are gonna be walking down to is this B here. So we've got a B7 here. Here's the B out of E position. And that's what we're gonna need next. Because it's gonna go. Let's just take a look at that, okay? So we've got mother, six string bass, don't stop praying. And now, just following the vocal melody line. B, brother, keep right on praying. You can do two things here. A few different things you can see Reverend Gary Davis do is he just mirrors this sometimes. He'll go, So he just repeats that phrase out of that B. However, he also does this, which is really great. 10th, bend up, 8th, 9th on that third string. So we've got, brother, keep right on praying. Back 
back to that E. Mother, don't stop praying. C. B7, E minor. Here's our C chord, which is out of the A chord shape. We want this first string at the third fret, the G note, to follow the, the melody line. Seven E minor. You can either do a roll or you can just brush down. Now, for some reason, if you absolutely cannot make this C, you can go ahead and C, and then play out of those melody notes. However, this gets used not only in Reverend Gary Davis's songs over and over again. This is very useful just up and down the neck. You can use this. Here's our C, here's our D, here's our E. Okay, so it's very useful. It's a, you should know how to do this chord. Okay, so the intro of the song is just going to cut that in half. And then we're going to go do the keep your lamp. Here's our other E minor. Keep your lamp trimmed and burning. Now we're going to do a D chord here. But we want a D and also its C counterpart as well because here's our D but here's our D as well out of C position so we want to grab half of that because we want this in the bass okay so we've got keep your lamb trimmed and burning gotta keep your lamb same lick Trimmed and burned and see for this old world is almost gone. And then it just starts all over again with that verse form. So the verse form is up here. Brother, don't just stop praying. And then keep your lamp. The chorus is down here. There is a solo that takes place, which is going to be in the bass string. So for this old world is almost gone. All that is, is I'll play it slowly. D. Again. C, E minor, E7, E. Okay, so that's the solo. like that my ending was maybe a little bit distasteful I don't know it depends on what your tastes are I went back to this for this old world is almost gone I did it again for this old world there's the B7 I went to this B almost gone and then I did here's a great other version of E minor and then I did Back to B. And then again. And then ended up here at that E. So it's up to you. I just kind of was playing around and stumbled upon that and had some fun with it. So I came up with my own ending. And feel free to do so if you want to. Otherwise, just end for this old world. Almost gone. 
all right? So those are all the pieces to this song. Let's put them all together and we'll play through it together. So we're 